Hi, I'm Kyle Houchins. I'm a Technic Trainer for McNeil, and today I wanted to do a quick video to show how to customize your middle mouse pop-up menu. Um, I've explained this a bunch of times on the forums and a bunch of times on tech support, and I have always wanted to get around to doing this, and for whatever reason it hasn't happened, but there was a just recently a forum post, and I just explained this one more time. So I think I'm going to make a video so that I can share this and make it a little bit more uh, comprehensive than it is when I just type out instructions. So the first thing that you want to do is just click your middle mouse button and you're going to see a menu pop up and if you try to do anything with it it just it'll disappear right so what you want to do is click go up here grab this little tool the the title bar up here and just wiggle it and you'll see that it changes into a tab and it can be docked you can even drag it up here and dock it up here if you want but for now we're going to leave it just right in the middle and so I'm going to add trim and split to this menu so that I can use those because I use those all the time and there's two ways to move stuff there is shift drag which I'm not gonna do don't do shift drag and the reason for that is shift drag you'll notice when I hold down shift and I hover over the button you'll see that it says move and edit and that's great because we do want to move it and we do want to edit it but we don't actually want to move it. What we want to do is hold down the control key, which you'll see says copy and link. So I'm going to copy this over, which is what I want to do, because if I were to shift move it, it would actually leave this toolbar, which I don't want it to do. And it would move to this toolbar, which is great, but then I wouldn't have it over here. So we're going to control drag to copy it. I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm going to control drag the trim key. Now I've got them in my in my pop-up and I can arrange this now with shift because shift is move right and I don't want to copy it I want to make a new copy of it because if I hold down control I'm gonna make another copy of this which I don't want so I'm gonna move it kinda to there or maybe I'll move it back to here but shift move is now what I want to do now that it's been control copied over here important distinction if I were to m shift drag this out you'll see that it changes to a delete button if I did delete that it's gonna give me a an okay here do you want to actually delete it I'm gonna say yes it removes it from this toolbar if I were to drag it from here and delete it it would actually delete it from this toolbar and I wouldn't have it anymore <laughs> which is not what I want I don't want this to disappear so I'm gonna control drag this trim back over and for me the I always have a hard time distinguishing between these I, I can never remember which ones trim and which ones split and so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna hold down the shift key and I'm gonna right click on this and it's gonna pop up the button editor and the button editor allows us to do things like change the name of the tooltip add right mouse button click commands right so if you've got a a tool that only has a left mouse button you can add a right mouse button to it um, like say for instance move or move vertical you can add that over here it also allows us to come up here and if we click the icon I can actually change the icon and so on this one I just want to make sure I'm doing the right one um, I'm gonna just add a T to it and this is gonna help me be able to distinguish which one is trim and which one is edit so now that T appears here now because this is a copy of the original one and it's it, it doesn't alter this one over here but it does alter the one here so I'm gonna do the same thing here I'm gonna shift right click and then I'm gonna click up here and I'm gonna just add an S to this one it's four years art school coming right at you All right, so we're going to add an S there. Say OK. And now you can see, I can clearly see which one's trim and which one's split, right? When you're done, all you have to do is close this. And the next time you pop it up, it'll be as you remembered. All right, make sure that this saves just by going Tools, Toolbar Layout, File, Save All. Exit this. And when you leave Rhino, make sure for this particular session, because you've modified the UI, that you do file exit, not 
the red X up here. If you do file exit, you give Rhino a second to actually go through and save all of the modifications that you made. If you just go file exit, you're just yanking the plug. So that's how you modify your middle mouse button pop-up in Rhino. Go make great stuff. Thanks. Bye.